What's going on? My name is Daniel and today I'm going to be walking you through my backpacking gear loadout for fall 2023. As you can see, fall is upon us here in the Northeast and I'm going to be heading out on a backpacking trip in the next couple of weeks. So today I'm going to walk you through the gear that I'm taking with me in addition to how I pack it in my bag. The bag that I'm packing today is the Durston Cockwell 55. This is a 55 liter pack from Durston Gear. Great Ultra 200 fabric. This is not the newest version of this pack. There is a newer version that has a bigger front pocket and some drainage holes in the water bottle pockets. But I love this pack. I love how lightweight it is. I love the hip belt pockets and how they zip free with one hand. And then it has this little hidden away pocket uh, behind one of the water bottle side pockets. Uh, super easy to, to get up and down and I'll show you what I keep in there as well. Let's start with the sleep system. The quilt that I use is the Zen Bivy Light Bag 10 Degree. I love the Zen Bivy system because it gives you the ability to put a sheet over your sleeping pad. You can cinch that down to your quilt or cinch your quilt down to that rather and you have a sheet on top of your sleeping pad and then a quilt on top of that. It really kind of replicates the sleep that I have at home with the sheet on the bottom and then the quilt on top. Having a quilt gives me the ability to kind of cinch down when it's really cold, get my feet in that foot box, but then also if it gets warm during the night, I can unclip the clip system and I can clip it open, give myself uh, some, some cool air. So that'll go uh, first into the bottom of the pack. <clears throat> Next up, I'll put my sleeping pad in. The sleeping pad that I sleep on is the Nemo Tensor Insulated Pad. This is the long, wide pad. I love the, the long, wide pad. Fits really nicely inside my tent. Fits great with the sleep system that I have. This pad is super warm. I'm a side sleeper. I don't bottom out in this pad, so I love it. Uh, never had an issue with this pad. So that pad will go in next. Then I'll take my pillow. Uh, use a Thermarest compressible pillow. This is the largest size they have. Like I said, I like to replicate the sleep that I have in my home. And so, yes, this may add a few ounces, but it's way more comfortable than sleeping on a pocket of air or one of those inflatable pillows. It's worth the added weight for the comfort that it gives me and the ability to sleep throughout the night. So this will go in next. After that, I'll put my clothing in. I'm not gonna go through the clothes that I use, uh, but um, typically I'll have an extra pair of socks, an extra pair of underwear, and some camp clothes uh, for when I get to camp and change out of every day. I don't think you need more than that. So my clothing will go in next. And I will take my puffy jacket right now. I have a North Face puffy. I'm not actually sure which one this is. I've had it for for quite a bit, uh, cinches down or compresses down pretty good. And that'll go in next. My rain jacket, uh, outdoor research rain jacket, that'll go on the outside of my pack, so I'm gonna put that to the side for now. But next I'm gonna talk about <clears throat> some of the uh, cookware that I bring. So everything that I pack is gonna go in a Hilltop Packs camp food storage bag. This is the Tokes Titanium 750 milliliter pot. I like the 750, it gives me the ability to boil my water for my dehydrated meal and then also have a warm drink at the same time. So I'll take that. <clears throat> my my Snow Peaks uh, 450 titanium mug, that goes in next. That's what the warm drink goes in. I have my hot lips for it so I don't burn my lips on it. A big mini lighter will go in there. The Pocket Rocket Deluxe, I love this uh, stove. The piezo lighter has never failed on me. The regulator is great because you can use it in high altitudes uh, and it'll continue to work no matter what. So love that, that goes in as well. Just like this. <clears throat> I also like to bring these portable aqua tabs. They're, this is a backup to my water filter system that I'll talk about in a minute, but it's always good to have a, a backup for mission critical things. Water filters being one of them, you need water to survive. These, I think, are the fastest working ones that I and the simplest ones to use that I've seen. Some of them have part A, part B, and they get a little complicated. This is simply just drop a tab in. I think it's 30 minutes, and then you're ready to go. So there's a little bit of a waiting period, but these are great. I'll throw those in as well. And that all goes inside of this orange sack that the, the Tokes pot comes with. And that goes straight into my food bag. 
have this bowl that I use for oatmeal or whatnot. Uh, it's a collapsible bowl by Sea to Summit. It's the X bowl. It's great. The bottom is hard. You can use it as a cutting board if you need to, uh, which is great. And I have this little cloth that I keep inside my cook my food kit, just so that I can spread out my food when I get to camp, or rather, spread out my my kitchen set or my cook my cook kit when I get to camp, and nothing's going to touch the ground. So I'll toss that in. This is a three liter hydro pack. This is great. It folds down super small. It has a wide open mouth at the top. And what I love about it is it works really well with my Catadyne B-Free filter system. So I love the Catadyne. It's never failed on me. The wide mouth makes it really easy to scoop. Uh, really good flow rate on the uh, filter part. And then what's great about it is that the Hydro Pack bag fits the Catadyne filter. So I can go full three liters if I need to filter three liters at a time. I can go to a stream, scoop up the three liters, scoop up another liter, so I have four liters of <clears throat> dirty before I go and filter at camp, which is always really good so that you're not going back and forth uh, between camp and the stream. I keep this on the outside of my bag, so I'm going to put it off to the side for now, but the three liter uh, usually is just something I use when I'm at camp and I need extra water storage, so that'll go into. This is my bear line. Uh, I like a PCT hang. If a, a, a bear canister is required, then this whole pack will swap out for a bear canister. No need for this when a bear canister is required. That'll go next, and then my titanium spoon as well goes in, and then my pot grippers I like to throw in there too. <clears throat> and then I like to have a couple fire starters ready. Uh, they're really good for a either fire start, starting a fire if I need to. If tinder is not dry if it's been wet and rainy. I'll use the fire starters. If you need to cook over a fire as a last resort, uh, these are good too. <coughs> so those will go in next. Again, the food is obviously not in here, but uh, food and snacks will get thrown in here before actually going on any trip. And that goes in next. After that, just a few more things that go inside the, the pack. Uh, and then I'll talk about some of the things that are on the outside of my pack. So, this is my Diddy bag. It has all of my electronics. I'm <clears throat> I've got uh, a whole bunch of stuff in here. I've got a, a Flextel gear, mini pump. The great thing about this is it has a lantern. Um, you can change the setting. I don't know if you can see that, but it's really good. Two clicks on, two clicks off. And you can hang it inside your, your tent. Um, so this is really good. Inflates my Nemo tensor in probably a minute and change, which is which is great when you get to camp. I also have a couple um, Nightcore uh, NB10,000 power banks in here. <clears throat> I have some backup batteries for my Petzl headlight headlamp. I use a Petzl. I love these backup batteries. Charge straight on the battery, and they're great. Um, and then I have some cordage to be able to recharge stuff. And that's all really I have in there. <clears throat> Toss that in. Next I have my toiletry kit. In here I have <clears throat> my contact lenses. I wear daily contact lenses. So my contact lenses will be in here. A small towel. A sham cloth. This is really good for condensation or if it's raining. <clears throat> I always wipe down my tent with the sham cloth after it rains. It's really good. <clears throat> Sorry. You have a cork ball in here. It's really good to kind of massage them out. I do have a nail brush or a fingernail scrubber and some soap in here, specifically because I, I do wear contact lenses and I don't want my dirty fingers going into my eye. Uh, toothpaste tabs. I prefer the tabs over uh, tooth toothpaste. Uh, but these are some tabs and a toothbrush, <clears throat> and that all goes in there. The last thing that goes inside my tent and then everything else is going on the outside is my, or rather inside my bag, huh, is my tent. The tent I use is the Durston X-Mid two-person tent. This tent has two different inners. There's a mesh version and a solid version. I have both inners. Depending on what the weather is going to be like, uh, temperature-wise, I'll either go mesh or I'll go solid if it's going to be a little bit colder. I love this tent. Trekking pole tent goes up really fast. Takedown is really easy. Takes comes down in one piece. 
rolls it in it back in itself, which is great. The inner is removable, so if it's raining and the, the fly is wet, I can remove the inner from the inside, stay under the tarp, pack up in there, and then I can throw the tarp either in the back, in the uh, outside pocket, or in a separate dry bag that I have um, that I'll take with me. So that'll go in next. And that is everything that's going inside my pack. On the outside of my pack, I'll put my Helinox Chair Zero. I love the Chair Zero. Getting to camp and just sitting down in a chair is way better than sitting on a floor or a hard rock or stump or whatever. My biggest issue with the Chair Zero is the feet tend to dig into the ground if it's wet. I bought this ground sheet for the Chair Zero. It's made by Helinox. It's meant to be folded and rolled around itself and that's kind of given me some issues in trying to figure out where to put it. So what I've actually done is taken the chair and rolled it inside of the ground sheet. I don't know that it's necessarily meant to do that, but it fits really well. Uh, the strap goes around and clips in, uh, and then it goes straight back into the bag. So that'll go in right here in this side pocket. And there's still plenty of room. If I wanted to put another water bottle in here, I could. Speaking of additional water bottles, this usually would go inside my food bag. I don't use this to drink out of. I use this Nalgene bottle, it's a small one, it's 400 milliliters. I use this if it's really cold out before I head into my tan or maybe you know 15 minutes before I head into bed. I'll boil some water, pour it in here and put it in the foot box of my quilt and it just provides so much additional warmth. So this will usually, like I said, it'll go inside the food bag but I forgot to put that in so I'll stick it in here for now, just get it out of the way. So things that go on the outside of my pack. Oh, this is actually supposed to go inside. Usually I throw this inside. This is my map. I think that having two of navigation, like I said before, mission critical uh, items, I like to have more than one option for it. So navigation is obviously mission critical. This map fits beautifully inside this hilltop packs, waterproof bag and a compass. If you don't know how to use a compass in a map, I would recommend learning. I'm gonna stick it in the front for now, but that usually goes inside my pack. Other thing on the outside of the pack, so my poop kit will go on the outside of the pack. I have this Bogler trowel. Uh, I like this way better than the Vargo Dig Dig. The Vargo tends to cut up my hands a little bit, so I use that as a trowel, some toilet paper. And I now have these pack wipes that I've been trying out. If you can see that. There's 20 biodegradable wipes. They're dried out and you just pour some water over it. It becomes wipe, you use it, they're biodegradable. Uh, they're really, really, really convenient. And I have some hand sanitizer in there as well. So that, poop kit, also hilltop packs, waterproof bag, little poop emoji, have some fun out there. We'll go right in the front. Medical kit goes on the outside. Medical kit is super important. Uh, if you don't have one, get one. I use the Adventure Medical Kits 0.5, but I don't actually use everything that it comes with. I kind of make my own medical kit based on some things that I've needed in the past. I've got some uh, medication in here that I, that I would potentially need. Uh, so this is really important. Get yourself a medical kit. I keep that on the outside for easy access. My rain jacket, uh, that goes on the outside as well if I need it really quickly. It's right there. These are the tent stakes for my tent. The tent stakes that I use are the groundhogs. I have a combination actually of the groundhogs and the groundhog minis. That'll go in the front pocket as well. My water filter goes right in here. Really easy access. This is a Matador mini blanket. This is waterproof and it's amazing. What I typically do is bring this inside my tent if I have a two person tent. If I'm only using a single person, this will be on the outside so everything stays dry on the ground. If I'm in a, a two person tent, like the X-Men 2, I'll throw this on the inside. If my boots are wet, I can throw them on this. It keeps everything dry. This is amazing and I highly recommend this. I actually put this right in this zipper pouch right here, outside of the water bottle pocket and I don't touch it till I get to camp. Inside my hip belt pocket I usually uh, use a Gerber folding knife. This is a inline lock. Really good knife. 
I uh, don't like multi-tools. I think that 90% of it you don't actually use, but a knife is actually pretty valuable and something useful that you can use in camp. So I throw that in one of the hip belt pockets. My Garmin InReach Mini 2 navigation safety. I love this. It has the SOS feature. This gives me, my family, the peace of mind that they need when I'm out there. If I need to hit it, I can hit it. If I need to communicate with them, I can communicate with them. It's really, really valuable. Uh, that clips right onto the outside of my pack. Before I forget, uh, trekking poles. You can't use a trekking pole tent without trekking poles, although technically you could. Um, if you find sticks that are the right height or if you carry the Z Flick poles that are just poles for trekking pole tents. I use the Lakeys. These are uh, the Kumbu Light, I believe they are. Yep, Kumbu Light. I think they're about eight ounces a piece. Doesn't really matter, I carry them in my hand. I don't carry them in my pack, so it doesn't really add to the pack weight. They're crucial, obviously, for the trekking pole tent, but also to help with actually carrying the load. So the pack, one of the things that I love about this pack, besides the fact that it's super lightweight, carries the weight really comfortably, it has load lifters. A lot of ultra lightweight or lightweight packs don't necessarily have the load lifters, and the fact that these have load lifters makes it that much more enjoyable to carry uh, the pack. And there you have it. That's my fall backpacking gear loadout for 2023. 19 and a half pounds. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Like and subscribe if you want to see more and let me know what you want to see more of. Any thoughts? Uh, if I missed anything, let me know. Uh, cool. See you out there.